Good afternoon and welcome to Clanderboy Park, the home of Bangor FC for our Victory Shield 2017 match between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. The teams that uh, are announced, this is your starting 11 for Northern Ireland. David Walsh in goal, Lewis McKinnon, Troy Hume, Ewan Davini, Dylan Boyle is captain, Peter Bell, Carl Johnston, Gerard Storey, Ben Gallagher, Alberta Baldy and Aaron Brown. Darren Murphy is the head coach. Spoke to both uh, players. There's a warm round of applause as the teams take to the pitch. Jimmy Kakor and Alex Dunn, Connor Power, Kieran Kelly, Shermas Kioch, Sean Kennedy, Troy Parrott, Brandon Holt, James Furlong, Mipo Opadik, sorry, Odu Peku, and Armstrong Oko Flex are the starting players for the Republic of Ireland. These are our substitutes. 20 players. Allowed on each squad. And the players are uh, getting out and ready. This should be a very uh, interesting encounter. Republic of Ireland are the defending champions. But Northern Ireland on the up more and more so it should be a, a fascinating battle out there today between two very good teams I was watching them warming up a little bit early and there's no doubt these uh, kids really know how to play play football here's the Irish team having their pre-match huddle And we're live here from Bangor FC. We have the uh, Northern Ireland match taking place on Wednesday live at 11 a.m. Wales versus the Republic of Ireland. Uh, sorry, it's 1 p.m. Northern Ireland versus Scotland over at Seaview Stadium, home of Crusaders. And on Friday, both matches from Bangor FC, Republic of Ireland, Scotland at 1 p.m. And at 5 p.m., Wales versus Northern Ireland. There's a few uh, kids that come out. Obviously, uh, there's a few schools have finished a little bit early, and they've let the kids come out to watch what should be a, a highly entertaining match here today. Our officials, Shane Andrews with uh, Christian Hannah and Ken Ross. Fourth official is Ben McMaster. Gonna get us underway. So two halves of 40 minutes in this Victory Shield match for 2017. <laughs> Right. 
Misplaced pass there inside. Referee giving the foul there. P apologies for uh, just going a bit A1. A few little uh, technical things to sort out here. But eventually we're back up and running. Still 0 0, but a very energetic start. So foul given there, free kick to Ireland. Here's uh, James Furlong 
That's a lovely ball inside. There's a shot from the edge of the box, but blocked away beautifully. That was Brandon Holt there for the Republic. And at the moment, Republic are on top in this early part of this match. Republic come away down the left-hand side. Very good start here from the team in white. There's uh, Seamus Kiof trying to something a little bit fancy from the centre midfield and pulling the ball straight out of play. Uh, I think somebody's just doing a shoelace. Devaney's going to take this throw. Murphy says yes, we can go. Two halves of 40 minutes, these Victory Shield matches for under 16. Conditions here are pretty good for football. It was raining a little bit earlier, but it's just uh, gone away and uh, a little bit of sun threatening to breaking out as well. Bit of a up and under there. And here there is a, a little bit of a wind blowing. Oh, here's a nice bit of skill, but Alan Brown just ran into one player too many there. Here's Try Who, number 15. Little crossfield ball, goalkeeper decides to stay. And now Ireland look to break away themselves. Very energetic start here from both teams. And Ireland just decide to just take it a little bit easy for a second and play the ball back along the line. Furlong. And he gets blocked away by whom? Now Oko Flex. But that's solid challenge there. And that's gonna hurt Ben Gallagher there. And there's a breakaway for Northern Ireland. Referee same play on there. And there's still a man down in the centre circle, and rightly so. That ball is put out of play. That was uh, a nasty, nasty challenge. Uh, both players fully committed going into that ball. concerned faces around there at the moment I don't really want to show a replay of that sort of challenge it's not not nice at all
Frankly is up and moving. That's great to see, to be honest. That could have been uh, much nastier. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's a throw-in down in his corner. Tight little ground here at, at Bangor. Drop it. Northern Ireland drop it. just dropping back. 12 minutes gone. a lovely ball across here's Furlong looking to cross it in cleared the sliding tackle by an Irish defender not an Irish defender and that's a strong tackle back I think this is a I think it was those two players who'd had the previous little uh, collision bit of extra zest in that tackle Certainly having a little bit of a line show of this first 12 30 minutes here at Clanderboy Park. Lovely football here from Ireland. Furlong. Really showing some good skills on the left. Doesn't see anything ahead of him. Decides to pull back. Kelly. Pressure already on Alan Brown here. And a little bit too much. The referee gives a free kick. Ireland trying down the right hand side now. Lovely little in inside ball. And looking to get Northern Ireland get on, on the break here. Gallagher out to the right hand side here. On the run is Hume. And see now the play. Good little break there from Northern Ireland. Nice skills. Cole Johnston, not very happy with the ball he played there. Loco uh, Flex switching onto the right side. The referee is going to have that one. And he saw a little shirt, shirt pull, and in fact, he's getting a yellow card out here. So yellow card for number three. You uh, and Devaney. Yeah, 
So a dangerous set piece chance here for Ireland. The Republic swing it in. It's dangerous. Oh, what a chance that was in front of goal. That really was an opportunity. Just see this again. We'll see, missed the first one. There's nobody with with him there. That was uh, what a chance that was. So might get a better view of it here on our close in camera. Not on that occasion. First major chance of the match there for Ireland. A real open goal, but the ball just bouncing a little bit high. players is down at the moment we are playing on a, a 4G surface here at Bangor which is uh, obviously it's really made a big difference to the to the way the game is played much more open first touch football also a little bit tough on the ankles fair to say Lovely little ball inside. Well, halfway through this first half, one major chance for Ireland. We certainly have had the lion's share of possession in this match so far. Just going out of play. Great to see uh, these kids just so happy playing uh, football around the back. Scotland versus Wales currently taking place over at Seaview Stadium, Crusaders, home of Crusaders Football Club. But, uh, it's probably a full-time score there now. That match kicks off at one o'clock. Trey on the toes. That's on the trail. 
Referee's going to give a free kick there. A little tug. Dangerous ball in, and there was a chance right in the centre of the box there. That was an opportunity. Just watch this one again. This was, uh, well, is that a free header? Just see this again. This is a this is a view from a close in camera right in the box. We'll get a good view of this, hopefully. Oh, I think it just flicked off one of the green players, one of the Northern Irish defenders, just beforehand, and that's uh, why it wasn't a clean header from the Irish forward. Solid challenge from Davini. He's already been in the book. He's got to be careful. The only player so far booked in this match. Balls. Here's Oko Flex again. Plays the ball inside, but it's crowded out. Northern Ireland had players back there. Gallagher goes out wide. Alan Brown back to Gallagher. Well, Gallagher had a man on him. He didn't realise and lost out. Cross ball. Here's Brown. Just one man too many yet again. And at the moment, both teams just giving the ball away midfield. Story. Hume looking on the overlap on the right. And the North go back. Good save from the keeper there. First meaningful shot. From the Northern Irish team. And uh, the keeper did well to keep that one out. The referee's given a free kick. Well, I don't think there's a few players very happy with that. Let's have a look at this uh, replay from that uh, top save there. Well, he does well there with a bouncing ball, hitting that on the volley. In Northern Ireland, last five minutes have really stepped up a little bit. Lovely foot in there from Sh Sean Kennedy for Ireland. And the opposite number seven, Cole Johnston, takes it off him.
Good crowd here at Bangor. Pretty much uh, the main stand is uh, looking pretty full over there. A few school kids have come along, but also lots of parents come to watch. The kids in uh, could be one of the biggest matches in their lives. Lovely skills, Brown. Back to Story there as Johnston. Shot from distance from Gallagher, but blocked by the defence. Northern Ireland really put in the Irish team under the cosh at the moment. Chip ball not coming off. Here's Armstrong, Oko Flex. Oh, I'm just happy just to uh, sit on the ball for a couple of minutes. Having uh, weathered quite a storm there from the northern team. Switch ball from Troy Parrott, but it's out of play. Sun's certainly looking to break out here. Blue skies around us. Good conditions, certainly uh, not nice. There's the long attempted ball here. Encounter in midfield there. And that one's put out of play. Wind just getting up a little bit, but. Says play on there. Yeah, 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 
Passage of play since uh, that shot that hit the crossbar. Ball's not got out of play once so far. Into the final ten minutes here in this first half. Northern Ireland just give away a, a real solid challenge there between two fully committed players. It's just a little bit too much of giving the ball away from both teams in this match so far. Well, finally, we have an opportunity. Um, this was the one that hit the crossbar. But uh, let's have another look. Here we go. Bang. Good attempt. And Ireland, Northern Ireland's had two probably really top class chances. Ireland certainly have had the one where uh, the ball was just too high in front of goal on the edge of the six yard box. throw in here a long throw but the referee I think says foul throw or I think he's actually saying there was a, <coughs> a foul in the box Again, ball given away very easily. Just feeling that uh, both players just starting to tire a little bit now. Just getting towards the, the last uh, dying embers of this first half. going to be given as a goal kick. David Walsh, a goalkeeper, hasn't really had a save to make. In a couple of close encounters in front of goals with both actually free kicks that were swung across. But he wasn't called to make a save on either. Dangerous play given there against the number 10. Matt Everett, um, sorry, that was Alberta Baldi.
Oh, his coach is screaming for the ball to be played inside quickly. It was, but Northern Ireland were there to block. Northern Ireland go long. Well flicked on. That was uh, Brown with a flick on there. That sorry that lovely skills inside, back out to Brown. Johnston did well there. And that sh shot goes rolling down Thunder Boys High Street towards the town centre, well over the roof. There's a free ball there for the kids underneath who are waiting for it to come back. It's already running down the street, lads. I wonder how many balls they get through during a, an average match here at uh, senior level. And stands are pretty low. They must have a, a dedicated ball fetcher for Bango, otherwise it cost them an arm and a leg in new footballs. Last few minutes of this first half. I just feel it. This match just needs a bit of a spark to it. A bit of a, a wrist there from a Northern Irish defender from Peter Bell, and he's now been caught out with a shot. Does not take a deflection according to the referee, even though there is the appeal. Final minute. We've just had the one injury, so there might be a little bit of injury time to come. One minute has been signified by our fourth official here. Side. Well, there, was, there were men in the box waiting for that ball there. I think uh, there's a bit of frustration from the coach in front of me there that that one wasn't swung in. By whom? Oh, no, the players around the ball here, real pressuring on the edge of the box. It's almost like seeing a bit of Barcelona. They got six men up, but the whistle has gone for half time, and we will go in goalless here. Uh, Clandeboy Park, it's, uh, we've seen uh, a lot of action for the half-time score. Northern Ireland nil, Republic of Ireland nil here in this victory shield for 2017 for under-16 boys. And, well, let's have a look at uh, some of the major action from the first half. Republic of Ireland had two big chances early on. Both from free kicks, actually. Here's the one from the right-hand side. This, well, the bounce just caught them out. Look how high that ball bounced. I think uh, he wasn't expecting that. And here's, uh, here's the second opportunity. But I think here there was just a flick on by a head right at the front. We just see that I think there's just the minutest of flicks there from the number four for Northern Ireland. 
Dylan Boyle, the captain. We might see this better from this closer replay. I think Dylan Boyle, number four foot in green, just gets the slightest of flick-ons and it just puts off the Irish player coming in behind. But then we have the two very strong moves here from Northern Ireland. They certainly dominated the latter half of the first half and here was a ferocious shot there from Devaney, the, the left-back. Goalkeeper called into a very smart save indeed. And then, well here is... Uh, Actually, this is, the, uh, this is the same one again. It was that good, we showed it twice. Goalkeeper did well, diving well out and making sure he got a good hand on the ball because Aaron Brown was looking to get in on the end of that. But here was the second one. Here's Brown, who plays the ball back in across. Number nine, Ben Gallagher, who decides to leash from long distance and off the top of the crossbar. Well, we're going to take a, a little break here. I hope you're enjoying this uh, coverage here from Bangor. We will be back for the second half in around 10 minutes. Back shortly. Welcome back. And this match has certainly started off quite uh, feistly, there's no doubt about that. Also on the coaches uh, on the sidelines, apologies if you heard a little bit of uh, bad language out there. Fully committed uh, coaches as well here. see any substitutions that have taken place out there. It's like it's uh, the same as the uh, start, starting 11 on both teams. On her power. Well collected there by Armstrong Oko Flex. Shameless kill. Keo just 
holding that centre midfield position all the time. Oko Flex. Oh, lovely turn inside. And a penalty is given. The referee points to the spot. And I don't think, really, there can be any complaints about that. Complete nutmeg on his opposite number. Let's have a look at this again. There's Oko Flex plays a nice one too. Here comes the challenge. And the only question could be is was that outside the box? He was appealing for it outside. We'll have another look at that in a second. But meanwhile, it's a number nine, Troy Parrott. Who slides it home. And the Republic of Ireland take the lead. Troy Parrott gets on the score sheet. Four minutes gone in the second half. And Ireland lead 1 0. Excuse me, we've got the scores the wrong way around there. We'll sort that out in a second. Ireland having Northern Ireland having dominated the the last 20 minutes or so of that first half, and it was the first real attack of the second half. But Ireland got the penalty. We'll have another look at that in a second. Well, I think the referee was absolutely spot on there. Out of play. Let's have a another little look at this. Is this a penalty or not? And where is it? Is it outside the box or inside? Right on the line. But no doubt that was a foul. And the referee decided it was inside the box, and we'll be up a penalty decision. So now Northern Ireland have to. Step up their game a little bit now. Dylan Boyle, the captain. Davini. So it's, this is not Davini, this is uh, Lewis McKinnon, left back. Davini uh, plays left midfield, and there he is. You and Davini. Okay. 
Troy Pallet there, the goal scorer number nine. With that penalty, the only separates the two teams. That's a beautiful ball crossed in there. Have a shot here from distance. But, uh, just miss hit the ball, and that will be a goal kick. Jimmy Cocoran for Ireland. Northern Irelanders, they have done all match. Just drop back from the goal kicks. Happy to let Ireland play it short and bring the ball out on the ground. really starting to get up out there quite blustery wherever actually sat outside in the commentary position just behind the uh, dugouts below these cameras starting to get a little bit cold out there and certainly the wind getting blustery no doubt about that Davini under pressure but lovely little touch inside Sean Kennedy managed to get back at him Beanie's uh, going to try and take on Kennedy again. Nothing there for him. And Ireland's nicking the ball there. That was uh, Oko Flex again. Now the counter chance for Northern Ireland. Inside ball, there's men over here, Gallagher. Gallagher might have another shot from the edge of the box and another ball that's gone out to the ground. A few substitutes warming up for both teams below us. <laughs> Yes, Ireland uh, inviting a little bit of pressure on. Slightly loose ball, and in the end, Ireland messed that one up quite badly. Get the ball straight to the Northern Ireland team. So, opportunity here for Northern Ireland. But that's just a giveaway ball. A few too many errors here from both teams. Just happy to pass the ball about, but there's a direct ball into the box. Here's a chance. Keepers out. 
and there's a shout from the Ireland team wanting a, wanting a penalty for this of all I think let's have a let's have another little look here direct ball from the halfway line in over the top and the question was uh, well there was a collision but I think the ball had gone by then the ball had been dragged across and it was uh, Mipo Otopeko who was in on the back of that so there's a few substitutions taking place here number 18 for the Northern Ireland Peter McKiernan is coming on for number 9 Ben Gallagher and 17 is on for the Republic of Ireland Feste Obelsaley and off is Sean Kennedy number 7 so double substitution there Good crowd here have come to uh, watch this game. Really know their football around this neck of the woods. a little bit too easy for Ireland but the ball's given away again Carl Johnston and that one goes to the Republic too many unforced errors from both teams here there's a I think that was a attempted cross but ended up being a little bit closer to the shot just putting a little bit more pressure on again Ireland giving the ball away just playing the ball around the back in their own half and needlessly playing the ball out of touch Just, uh, we, we've actually got four cameramen up in the gantry so they're all uh, fighting for space a little bit two analysts and our two cameramen so it's very busy there I think that gantry is only actually meant to hold two Just uh, getting a score from over at the Seaview Stadium where Scotland and Wales have drawn one apiece over there. Just sit there every minute. 
a few of the substitutes uh, taking place. In fact, we've uh, it's like we've had one that's taken place uh, very quickly in front of us. In 13, Aaron Brown has come off. Here's uh, Festi of Asaley, the substitute, is certainly full of uh, fight. Number three is coming on for the Republic. And number 12 is off. So James Furlong is off and Tega Agbohier is on. Just a straight switch at left back. Just having a little look up front uh, to see who could be Looks like uh, Connor Bradley has come on, number six, for Northern Ireland. And Aaron Brown is just having a break for the North. Republic still lead 1-0, thanks to that penalty after 45 minutes from Troy Parrott. Again, ball just a bit of ping pong in the centre of midfield there. The ball's just giving away repeatedly between the two teams. Oko Flex just pulling back into midfield, getting a little bit involved there. Twenty minutes to go. Two more matches on Wednesday. <laughs> 11 a.m. Wales versus the Republic of Ireland playing here at Bangor. And at 1 p.m. on a live webcast, it's Northern Ireland versus Scotland over at Seaview Stadium, the home of Crusaders FC. And then both matches here on Friday at 1 and 5 p.m. Do apologise if you have had a few issues watching the stream. We are struggling with internet connectivity, it seems, today. We will try and get that resolved. Oh, there's a mistake! But the goalkeeper gets his defender out of trouble. That was uh, really quite an error. Watch that one again in a second. In fact, the whistle has gone. Well, let's have a quick look at this again. So here's the ball through. And the number nine here taking a, a bit of a gamble. It was Dylan Boyle who tried to play it back. Troy Parrott, who scored the penalty, almost got on the end of that. Good uh, centre forward work there from Parrott. I think we're likely to see quite a few more substitutions taking place as time goes on as well. There's the ball over the top. And uh, a few of the Irish uh, supporters wanting a second penalty there, believing their man was just pulled back in for affection. Lovely play from uh, the goalkeeper. That's not a bad kick with your wrong foot. And, uh, the assistant referee judging that that ball just crossed the line.
Here's a chance to the north. Oh, that's played another front post. Is that off the post? That was so close. Lovely skills down the right wing there. Let's have a quick look at this on a replay. I'm just watching live to make sure the ball doesn't go in. Here's a beautiful ball. And yes, off the post. Well, Northern Ireland have hit the crossbar and the post. I think that could have actually gone down as an own goal. It may have come off the defender. We'll have another look at that in a second. This match starts to warm up a little bit more. Let's have another quick look at this. Lovely skills down the right hand side from Alberto Baldi. And that has definitely comes off the defender and off the post. And a free blows for a free kick. Let's see this from our wide camera. It looks as if it was quite strange actually, but yes. Definitely off the post, completely wrong foot to the goalkeeper. That could so easily have been one all. And now here's the dangerous ball in, but the keepers well on top of that. This match really is opening up. Ball given away again. Ireland have done that just too many times in this match. Nice skills from Obasele. And again, Ireland try and play the ball uh, around a little bit at the back and get themselves in a bit of trouble. Armstrong Oko Flex is pretty much a centre forward but he's certainly dropping back a little bit at the moment maybe he's dropped back into midfield with a few of the substitutions it was him who won the penalty earlier and he's won the free kick there Carl Johnston not very happy with that at all and I think I don't know watch this watch this yourself I'm not sure there was a lot of ball on that challenge Number eight is off for Northern Ireland, and number 17 is on. So uh, Callum McBride is on, and Gerard Story is off for the team in green. Referee is saying that's 10 yards. Get on with it. You might even have a pop here from long distance. Hit that pretty hard. As uh, somebody in that wall is going to be rubbing that fire a little bit later on. That was travelling. Nobusele will win the corner. Twelve minutes to go here. Sung in with the left foot, cleared at the near post. That was a good header by Alberto. And now here's the counter attack. If he's onside, this is an opportunity here for Northern Ireland. Here's Connor Bradley. Oh, just lost his footing at a crucial time. He had men in the box. to play from Northern Ireland but the Republic are well and truly back in numbers there I haven't actually got anybody up they've got everybody behind the ball here Northern Ireland do well that's a dangerously swung in cross but just wasn't the body on the end of it and the Republic have, have everybody committed to defending that's a loose 
ball there though from Devaney and lets the Republic off the, off the hook a little bit there Now Vesely, the substitute, good tackle but Ireland retain possession. little forage forward there from the number five Sean Kelly and a miss hit well this game's definitely opening up in the last ten minutes you just feel there's there's possibly another goal or two in this chances are coming to both teams now it's certainly loosened up a little bit which, uh, under 16 football does happen a little bit from time to time Of a Saley, a substitute, swings the ball in, but that's behind the forward line. Parrot plays the ball back, retaining the possession. All the way back to the goalkeeper. Power into Keo. Ireland happy to eat the clock up into the last 10 minutes and again one of the central defenders decides to have a little forage it was Kelly again good skills from Obseli oh here he is again here's a chance great save Wonderful save from the goalkeeper here, and the referee is going to give a free kick. Well, let's have a look at this again. This is a Festi Abasele, and the goalkeeper goes down to his right, but a strong left hand. That was beautifully done, and he's kept his team in this match. Abasele really has been a, a threat since he came on. Devaney. a poor ball and now is a uh, Odupeko who tries to swing that into the back post I think uh, there was a couple of players in white in the edge of the six yard box who were hoping for a ball there entertaining game this has been Two very good teams and not a lot in it at all. Northern Ireland certainly feel they've had their chances. Hit the woodwork twice in this match. And forcing the Irish keeper into one very good save. Uh, Kokoran to his left. Johnston. Out wide. Bradley. Back to Devaney. There's men in the box waiting. There's a deep cross in. I think sometimes it's uh, it was good for the Northern Ireland team to actually swing one in there, put a bit of pressure on the opponents. That's good play down the right hand side, and that will be a corner. There's a few hands on hips and uh, there's a little bit of heavy breathing out there. Northern Ireland are bringing up the centre halves as well. They're going to put some pressure, by the looks of it, putting a bit of pressure on the goalkeeper here. Come on, boys. Shut him up. 
Well, everybody's in a line on the line here. There's one, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's half half a pitch there, and that is gone for a goal kick. It's an unusual little tactic there, trying to just crowd the goalkeeper out. Still just one goal in it. And goalkeeper forced to put them all out of play under all the pressure he was under. Happy to eat the clock up a little bit here, the Republic. And their time is on their side. As a massive long ball upfield, causing Ireland some troubles. And well, I'm I'm not so sure that was as bad a foul as has been made out. But uh, the referee has given this free kick. Let's have a look at this again. Here's the big ball, big clearance. Up, and, uh, up, yeah. Not so sure about that one. Looks as if he was potentially going down before the contact was happening, but I do have the benefit of a big HD monitor straight in front of me. The referee only gets to see it once. The linesman uh, gave that as well. So, in fair play, he was a lot closer than everybody. Northern Ireland swing the ball in into the top corner of the keeper very smart indeed puts that one out that was a, a dangerous kick there and there's a massive kick from the keeper that's a enormous kick and Parrott tries to get ahead on it I think he thought the goalkeeper was coming for that and all he needed to do was loft the ball over the top this game really has opened up in the final five minutes did not be surprised if we see a couple more goals here. Obasele. It's just a, a player down at the moment, I think. The referee has blown the whistle in the centre circle. Number 11, Brandon Holt. Just cramped by the looks of it. Referee says that's okay, let's get on with it. Fair play, referee. Tremendous header there. Islander. Just hold, trying to hold on out here. Certainly got men behind the ball. We're down to the final two minutes and whatever. I don't think we've had the trainer on at all. So this could be a straight whistle blown at 80 minutes here.
Ireland really need to try and do something here. Peter Bell is going to take this throw. I think he's got quite a, a big throw on him. Flicked on well. And a second flick on. Ball was loose there on the edge of the box. Half chance for Northern Ireland. Rain clouds are threatening in the distance as you can see there. <laughs> Lovely skills as Northern Ireland really start pressing hard for this equaliser. There's a lovely ball in. Ireland clear. Peter Bell who's, well he's dropped back but his clearance is not good. And the Republic can just take their time on this ball. 20 seconds on our official clock. And then it's a question of whatever additional time is going to be added. Goalkeepers come to head this one clear. Well done, goalie. All goalkeepers are certainly the last line of defence these days. Well, we've got three minutes on the clock for added time. So uh, I must have forgotten one of the incidents for sure. Northern Ireland really do have, uh, have it all to do here now. That's a dangerous ball in. The goalkeeper's in no man's land. That will be a corner. Wow. Well, that really was uh, a little bit risky there. We'll just watch this again. Goalkeeper comes out. And uh, yes, there's defenders and there's heads and everything all in the way. Here comes the swinging in corner on the edge of the six yard box. Goalkeepers did lose it, but it was under pressure. I think uh, there was a foul on there, and that could be the last. That could be the last move of a match. Northern Ireland can certainly feel that they've given Republic a, a game here. We've got a man down and in pain. Just look at this corner coming in again. And yeah, definitely a little, little shove on the goalkeeper. Banner number 10. So there'll be a couple more minutes to add on to this while we uh, get a little bit of treatment out there. Number seven, Paul Johnston. Referee just uh, asking uh, Johnston to leave the pitch, of course. He might not get up. He might not get back on at this rate. Northern Ireland really have to throw men up. Well, I think there was about five different people giving him instructions there as to what to do, and obviously he decided just to give it a toe end out of play, just waste another ten seconds if possible. We really are in the last minute and a half now. That clock will go above the three minutes. Foul there on Peter Bell, number five. He's definitely looking uh, worse aware there. That he's going to be uh, a bit sore tonight. And 
there is the full time whistle and there's hugs and celebrations around it's a win for Republic of Ireland over Northern Ireland in this Victor Shield match by one goal to nil entertaining match and uh, well Northern Ireland will feel a little bit hard done by here they hit the woodwork twice and forced the goalkeeper Cohen into a fine save in the first half but it was the penalty that uh, sealed it between these two teams and we will be back on Wednesday with more action from the Victor Shield at 1 p.m. Northern Ireland versus Scotland that will be from Seaview Stadium the home of Crusaders as I say if you have been watching this live and having a few issues we I'm well aware we've had a few internet issues here on site but we will put up the uh, full replay online as soon as possible should be there tomorrow morning well there's the result here Northern Ireland nil Republic of Ireland won thank you for watching and we'll see you again on Wednesday goodbye for now <laughs>